MG's been a bit hit and miss since it re-emerged as a Chinese budget brand. Its first car, the MG6, was a bit of a disaster, a poor excuse of a car in a market that was in rapid decline. The MG3 is better, a likable little hatchback that undercuts the competition in terms of price and, in many ways, quality, although it was vastly improved in 2018. In 2016, MG thought it was onto a winner with the GS. This was a car that expected to break into the competitive Nissan Qashqai small SUV market, yet it failed miserably. A harsh ride, nasty interior and limited engine lineup was to blame. So here we are for take two, with the MGHS review. MG quietly binned off the GS after a few years on sale, and this model has taken its place. Thatch the MGHS, this is a car that will compete directly with the Dacia Duster and Sanyang Corando, while undercutting mainstream competition like the Peugeot 3008 and Skoda Grok. The MGHS's interior is leagues ahead of the old MGGS. It feels genuinely well made, especially in top spec exclusive trim where you'll find opulent leather trim and an interior that looks a bit like a cut price Mercedes Benz. It's a spacious cabin too, with big comfortable seats in front. There's plenty of useful storage areas with the MGHS, and you can fit three adults in the back with more comfort than you would in a lot of rivals. The rear seats even recline for an extra touch of luxury. Unfortunately, the boot isn't quite as big as rivals like the Peugeot 3008 and Seat Deca, but it's bigger than you find a conventional family hatchback like the Ford Focus. The rear seats drop too, should you need more space. The MGHS's engine lineup was initially limited to, well, just the one. It's a 1.5 liter petrol engine that isn't as quick as similarly sized engines used elsewhere. It does the job, although it lacks refinement if you work it hard. For that reason, we recommend buying an MGHS with the automatic gearbox and taking it steady. Also, the auto box is very good. A plug-in hybrid arrived late in 2020. This pairs the 1.5 engine with an electric motor to produce a combined 2.5 APS. Officially, the MGHS PHEV 16.6 kWh battery can be charged in around 3 hours and provides an electric-only range of 32 miles. That's ideal if, for example, you have a short commute or want to use the MGHS for the school run and travel further afield when the weekend arrives. The MGHS isn't a sporty choice but it's very comfortable on broken road surfaces. It copes with broken roads very well indeed, even though most come with 18-inch alloy wheels. Around town, the MGHS is an easy car to maneuver, particularly as all but the cheapest models come with a reversing camera and parking sensors. Ultimately, the MGHS isn't perfect, but what would you expect for a car that's significantly cheaper than mainstream rivals? It's certainly much better than the old GS and, arguably, the best MG of recent years. Chuck in a long warranty that can be transferred to subsequent owners, and it could be a stonker of a used car purchase. steering and benign handling, the MGHS provides plenty of confidence on rural roads. Don't go expecting the sports car like driving experience the MG badge might subtly hint at, but it doesn't lean as much in corners as a Citroen C5 Aircross. If, for whatever reason, you get the urge to chuck it into a bend, you'll find it reaches its limits a lot sooner than something like a CD Tecca. But it's all well controlled, with the stability control system does a good job of keeping things in check. Around town, you get a high driving position, even compared to other SUVs in this class, which gives you decent visibility. The steering's usefully light in a standard fit reversing camera, and sensors, on all but entry-level Explore models mean you shouldn't struggle to negotiate a tight car park.
There's a reasonable amount of adjustability with the front seats but, even in their lowest setting, you still sit fairly high. Only the top-spec MGHS exclusive models get electric seat adjustment, but this is unlikely to be an issue unless you swap drivers regularly. Adjustable lumbar support is standard across the range, which helps reduce lower back pain on long journeys. In terms of interior design, the MGHS impresses. You get Mercedes-Benz like turbine air vents, while the climate control can be adjusted via smart little toggle buttons positioned low down on the center console. It's a smart yet functional cabin, with everything located exactly where you'd expect to find it. The media system is perched on the dash, as is the fashion at the moment, but that makes it easy to glance at while driving. There's no fancy digital instrument cluster, like in the Ssangyong Corando, but the dials are clear and easy to read. We'd always favor a speedo that increases in 10 miles per hour rather than 20 miles per hour increments, though. If you'd like in his new car without a new price tag, who wouldn't? Look for a pre-registered or nearly new model. These are cars that have been ordered and registered by dealers, before offered for sale at a discounted price. The advantage of these is you can usually pick them up within days, or even the same day, skipping the waiting list and getting a juicy discount too. We've seen pre-registered MGHS Excite models with the manual transmission selling in the region of £18,500 which is a saving of around £2,500 compared to a brand new one. An MGHS exclusive model with delivery miles on the clock can be bought for around £20,000, saving you £3,500. The same car with the automatic gearbox will set you back around £22,000 to £3,000 below the retail price.